Yeah, just keep talking because, uh, you know, some little, some little asshole punk son of a bitch named Alex is, uh, you know, doing this shit with my phone. Yeah, I know. I got a recording of it. Yeah, right. Okay. So, and I'm sure, I, I'm really quite sure, okay? I mean, I'm really quite sure right now, at this point in time, that uh, the little punk motherfucker is listening in on this conversation. I'll tell you what, though, Saturday night, okay? Um, that's promise, right? That's promise. You're going to be here. Promise. Six o'clock, I'm burning steaks. That's promise. I'm burning steaks and drinking some beer. That's a promise. All right. Okay. Be, be here. I will. All right, kid. I'll talk to you then. You be good, bud. Hey, yeah. Bye. Bye. And I got cowboy hat and fishing pole and uh, scarves and uh, shit hanging on my wall. And I'm going to tell you what, Alex. Listen to me, brother. I, I told you that I'd back off, but don't you ever pull any more fucking shit on me. Get a life phone, loser. He's been trying to call you, and your name is Lloyd. What is your last name? It's your bell. So I'm being right called on the telephone. Yeah, just write that. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. I know that the phone's not a toy. I just got a call from a Roy. The number shows up and it's spoof. Says he's at my house replacing my roof. Man, this guy's a jerk for this. I just rushed home, left work for this. No one's at my house on my roof. This Roy guy, what a goof. We just made a non sweet pool, and the landlord says, not nah, cool. Not on the lease, my name's Roy Chevelle, unit 203. I'm a tenant from hell. There's a tunnel system attached. We found a secret hatch. Don't get smart with me, and I'm tight. This is now an archaeological dig site. Thanks, Brandon, for that intro song. What a great intro song. Hey, everybody, you're listening to The Snowplow Show, and I'm your host, Brad. This one's brought to you by Fun Society Arcade, Synthhead, Gobi, Edward G., and High School Graduate. Those are a few of the supporters over on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Welcome new Patreon people like Default Cecil, or I guess welcome back. I remember you, Default Cecil, and Matthew G., they just signed up recently. I have a news story here that I'm apparently required to read because a bunch of people have sent this to me, and it was posted in the PLA Facebook group. A Sheboygan serial toilet clogger has been sentenced to 150 days in jail, plus probation. This is a good story just because I get to say the word Sheboygan. This guy named Patrick B. Man was charged with 12 misdemeanors of criminal damage to property because he was going into bathrooms and shoving plastic bottles down the toilets to clog them up, making water overflow from the toilet. And I guess he was doing this in places that he worked at. He worked for a temp agency. They'd give him jobs, and these various jobs would notice that their toilets were suddenly being clogged up. So he's being kind of dumb about it. I mean, come on, go to a Walmart or something, clog up their toilets. 
You don't shit where you work. I think that's how the saying goes. That's kind of a weird thing to be doing, going around clogging up toilets with water bottles. Was he putting them in the bowl or in the tank? I don't understand how this works. Unless they're those bottles you can kind of scrunch up in your hands and just kind of shove down into the bowl. Maybe that's what he was doing. So I guess what I'm required to do soon is some more Willet flush calls with water bottles. I'm not going to do that today. I've already got some calls planned. Or maybe I will if I have time. I don't know. I'll put a link to this story in the show notes if anyone wants to read about this guy and see pictures of him getting sentenced. I'm not sure if it's more embarrassing to go to court over clogging toilets or making prank calls. I gotta call this guy up and see what he thinks. By the way, the clips that you heard at the very beginning of this show, the guy yelling about some little asshole punk named Alex, that was Big Larry. It's a guy that used to live in the same house as me, and I tapped into his phone back in the 90s. I was listening to his calls. I don't know how he knew I was listening. He must have heard it echoing back to him from upstairs. I went by Alex back then, mostly, back in the 90s. I was always fucking with him. But if you want to read the entire story of Big Larry, you can find that on notla.com, I think, slash Larry. Yeah, there it is. The story about how I was just a complete asshole to this guy back in the good old days. If you want to read about that, I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Or you can just go to notla.com slash Larry. It's a pretty amazing story just because I should be dead now. From fucking with him so much. Larry should have killed me back in the 90s. Thank you for calling your Walmart. How may I direct your call? Hi, uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your store right now. And what are we putting on the All righty. And I'm a blind customer. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm at in the store right now. Is there any way to figure out where I am? Like, can you see the cameras? I cannot. Huh. Is there Braille? Um, like on what the... do you see near you? Or what do you feel <laughs> near you? Wow. Um, well, is there Braille on the post? Like, well, what do I feel? Hold on. Let me get to this shelf over here. Yeah, what do you feel near you? Um, let's see. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm sorry. I, I just knocked some things over. Um, they felt like pans, though. Like maybe something metal. Or it could be automotive. Okay. Let, let me feel around some more. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, Robert, can you go out here and take a look that way and see if someone's stealing for the pan? Yeah. Is there Braille, like, on the posts or anything? Uh, no, there isn't. Are you sure? I'm feeling around. Like, I'm trying to see if... Good. <laughs> That, that was, I don't know what that was. That was big. I think it almost hit me. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to make a mess. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at. Where I'm at. Ma'am? Oh, no problem. Okay. Um, Just give me one moment, should okay? I should I feel around some more? Uh, can I get somebody to help me find a blind customer that has no idea where he's at in the store? Well, he's on the phone with me right now, but he doesn't know where he's at. Correct. You could do a customer page for the customer that's in the store, but that's all we can do. You're misunderstanding in the store law. Correct. I'm the second person. Okay, so we're going to see if we can find you. Okay. He's blind, and he's trying to heal, but he's knocking stuff over. Okay, so um, I'm having I'm having someone come and look for you. Okay, should I just throw some things on the floor and they'll hear me? Ma'am? Um, do, you, do you happen to have a cane with you? Uh, I set it down somewhere. Not sure where it's at. I'm just not sure what department I'm in. Okay. Wait, here, let me... Okay. Oh. I keep hearing metal falling, so I have a feeling he's either in automotive or our house clerk. He does, but he says, yeah, he's not sure where it's at. Okay, ma'am, ma'am. 
So yeah, we're the, actually um, trying to find where. Yes. I, I I think I might be. You know where where are the candles at? I'm knocking over candles onto the floor. Candles. Yeah, glass okay. glass candles. Try candles. I'm knocking them on the okay, floor. Okay. Um, I actually have somebody coming towards you. So just. Okay. Just try and stay stay steady, and we'll have someone should, there. Should Should I keep knocking the candles, these glass candles on the floor, so they know where I'm at? No. Well, that way they'll know. Like. No, I actually have them coming towards you. I know, but how do you know where I'm at? I'm I'm throwing candles on the floor. Can you tell them like go to the sound of the breaking glass? Ma'am. Ma'am? Um, he's knocking something over the glass. Okay, I fully 100% think that you are on the plane bar now. What'd she say? What'd she say? Bye. Okay, so who did you come here with? Uh, just by myself. I was able to make it in the doors. And it just kind of get into the store. I think you guys, did you remodel or something? So who drove you here? I drove myself. Who drove you here? I drove myself. I'm blind, not stupid. I know how to drive. If you're blind, you can't drive. That's my question. Oh, legally, I can't, but I drove here. Do you have, like, you know that you have those uh, okay. white... Okay, just a second. ...those cleaning stations? Is there Braille on those? Is there what? Is there Braille, like, on any of the posts, like, up, up by the phones, or... No. Are you sure? Because I'm, no. ar- I'm feeling around right Hold now. just a second. That was a loud one. Did you hear that? I can hear it on the phone. Well, Hold you, just a second. You sir. must have heard that one in the store. All right, now I'm on hold. Sir? Yes? 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 And your number is 420 Correct. That's my number. Okay. Who did you come with? Uh, I came by myself. Okay. Did you... What? Okay. What? Are you sure you're at the Walmart? Oh, yeah. just walked the whole store and can't find you. Yeah, I'm definitely here. Um, what did he say in the walkie-talkie? Was that about me? So you have a walkie-talkie? No, no, no. I, I heard him on the walkie-talkie on, on your end. Okay. Where are you at? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Because if you drove here, then you should be able to see what aisle you're in. Well, no, well, I don't I'm, know where you are. I'm blind. So, I'm blind. Don't be disrespectful. I'm blind. That's okay. I'm I'm gonna hold on. The, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna call the sheriff's department and have them do a well check on you, and I'll have them call you back. Okay. Well, that's stupid. I don't need. So to, they can I, help find you because I, I, I don't know where. I don't, well, I don't know where you're at. We look. I'm. I'm here. Let me feel around this post here and. <laughs> oh no! I just knocked something over. No. Sorry. Sir, but, we just walked the whole store, and we can't find you, so I'm just going to call the sheriff's department, and I'll have them help find oh, you, okay? D- d- don't do that, because this is just a prank call, Because dummy. we just walked the whole store. And... Right. Figured it was. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> so I put all these sound effects in my soundboard today, and I think I need to mess with the levels, because some of them are super loud, some of them are not very loud at all, and this one sounds like a cartoon. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? I think most of these came from the Hanna-Barbera sound effects library. And I tried to only get ones that sounded realistic, but I left that one in there just for the hell of it. Uh, A couple shows ago, a listener named Your Penis suggested that I call up a Walmart and say I'm a blind customer in the Walmart, and I'm not sure where I am, and play sound effects of things being knocked over. And I was hoping to get more subtle sound effects, like, you know, maybe just boxes falling down. But it seems like in sound effects libraries, all the crashing sounds involve either metal or glass. I really like this one labeled Hubcap. That's a great one. And then of course there's my favorite uh, wrench being dropped. 
All these are at different sound levels, so the sound levels are just going to be all over the place today. Sorry. And I don't know how long I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is going to turn into a full episode, because really, how long can this go on? It's just going to be the same thing over and over. Right. And why are those people going to call the sheriff? They're in a populated area. You wouldn't call the sheriff. Wouldn't you just call the local police? Why would you call the sheriff? That's weird. Thank you. How may I help you? Hi, uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your store right now. And, uh, well, I'm a blind customer, and I'm not sure where I'm at inside the store. Is there any way, like, um, I don't know, can you see me in the cameras, or there, is there Braille stuff around here? No. Are there any audio? B- oh, you're little, literally blind. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you were just, yeah, okay. No, there isn't. Um Wow. Huh. I don't even know how to find you, to tell yeah, you the truth. I'm feeling around on um, the shelf. Like, um, I feel some maybe stacks of papers. Like, um, is, is there any Braille uh, stuff, you know, like for me to feel around for? Do you know if there's Braille? I, not that I know of. I think I might be um, near the back of the store. Because, like, when I, when I, here, like, when I put my hand on the shelf here, it, it's... <laughs> I, I just okay i just made a mess okay Can, let me uh find some people to start looking for you okay um well and let, we'll help you out oh i don't want to put you guys through any trouble i can figure it out eventually i was just hoping there there might be you might have some sort of system in place for this no, we don't. Oh, shoot. I just not. I think I knocked over pots and pans. Wait, no, that wasn't a pot and pan. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, as far as I know, we don't. You don't? Um, you don't what? Let me ask. Me, we don't have anything for to find out. Where you are. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to make a mess. It just. I'm like feeling around in the no, shelves. No, you're okay. And I keep knock, yeah. knocking things. Oh, that sounded like housewares. I think I'm in housewares. I just knocked something over that sounded like a bowl, maybe. Okay. Let me come over to that area and oh. try and find you. Th- that was glass. That's glass, okay. too. Oh, okay. That, that was glass. Yeah, I'll get, some, um, I'll get some managers together and we'll try and locate you, okay? Okay, but I think, <laughs> like... I think these might be like little candles, like glass candles. All right. I'm, I'm throwing them on the floor. I'll come. I'll come that way. Okay. All right. Can, can I can I just keep throwing okay. these on the floor and you go toward the sound of the breaking glass? Well, I know exactly where it's at. So. All With right. The, the candle. Oh, well, they might. I'll they come. might not be candles. I gotta hang. Yeah. I gotta hang up the phone. I'll just come and find you. Okay. Well. So. I just, Okay, I'm going to keep right. throwing the candles on the floor really hard. All right. Bye. All right, bye. I think I heard her yelling for someone as she hung up. Let's try one more Walmart. I think it's just all going to be the same, though. Thank you for calling to Walmart. How may I transfer your call? Um, well, I- I'm a blind customer. I'm in your store right now. And I'm not sure which department I'm in. Is there a way, like, is there a way to tell which department you're in? Oh, I don't know how that would be possible. Okay, because I'm I'm walking like I'm I'm I, I'm in an aisle right now, like inside of an aisle. I'm walking forward. Uh huh. And. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure what that was. I knocked something. I kicked it oh. with my foot. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Um. Yeah, I just like. Is there Braille anywhere? Uh, no, there's not. Like, not even where the phones are, or by the cleaning you're stations. Because I'm, I'm feeling along the shelves and. <laughs> I think I just knocked something over. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Hold on just one minute. Okay. Well, she just thinks it's funny when a blind person knocks over stuff in her store.
This is the system manager, Troy. Can I help you? Hey, Troy. I'm a blind customer, and I just wasn't sure if there was a way f to tell which part of the store I'm in. Um, well, I doubt it. Um, are you with anybody? Uh, nope, nope. I'm by myself today. But um, I, uh, I, I was feeling. Do you know what you're wearing? I'll come find you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a red shirt. Like, I'm feeling on the shelves to try and figure out which department I'm in. And I'm, oh. I think I might be in, you know, by the kitchen stuff, maybe? That sounded like kitchen stuff that I knocked over. I'm sorry, I don't mean to knock things over. Yeah, right. I didn't hear anything, and I'm in the kitchen section. Okay, it must not be the kitchen section. Is Could it be automotive, maybe? Whoa. Okay, I need to get away from Walmarts. And I think I know of a good place that might be fun to call. Let's try this. 24 hour finish location. This is Skylar. How may I help you? Hey, Skylar. Uh, I'm a member here. I'm, I'm in the gym right now. Um, I'm, I'm one of your blind members, and I'm not sure where I'm at. I'm, I was trying to find the restroom. I think I might be in a storeroom of some kind. Oh, I'll yeah. come look for you, brother. Do, I'll come find you. Do, do you have a lot of storerooms? Uh, we have we have a we have two or three, so I'll, I'll come give a look for okay, you. Find your bubble like when I'm trying to find the door, and uh, I keep. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be. Okay, I just knocked some things over. I'm sorry about that. All right, Skylar's going to look for you. Okay, um, like where's the door though? Because I came in the door and I was trying to find the, you know, the the facilities. And I don't know. I just got and got turned around. That's okay. Um, what do you see right now? Well, I'm blind. I'm a blind customer. Okay. Um. Oh, man. I think I I just knocked over a whole shelf. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fine. Skylar is coming. Jesus, I just. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. I think some of the ceiling caved in. Okay. Man. Um I knocked over a, a support beam. Oh, that it must not be on the main floor. It must be back in the facilities. Is there a basement? There is not a basement. Did you walk down some stairs? Um I did at some point, but like so much has happened since then. It's hard to remember. Oh, that's okay. Um, um like I'm 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 Oh, I just knocked that over. Oh, that was glass. Nope, that's, that's not the door. Shoot, I'm so sorry. I, you're okay. I didn't mean you're, to. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Uh, go down the escalator. The escalator? Or the elevator. The Did gym? you go down the elevator? Uh um, Yeah, we have. Yeah, but it's hard to tell uh, when you're blind, like, uh, what floor you get off at. Oh, here, I think this is the door. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... No, that wasn't the door. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. I'm here for one second. What? Here, sorry, I just had a, one of my clients come in. One second. I'm a client, too. Did I just hear the word prank call? For me, yeah, sorry, we just had a weird Skylar. <laughs> he's either in the basement or this is a prank call. Because he's saying that shelves and ceilings are falling out and like glass is breaking and all these weird things are happening. Oh, did you hear it? Are you at the <laughs> location? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, when you cover the phone, I can still hear you talking about prank calls and stuff and I'm not a prank caller I'm a Christian 
Like, I can hear everything you say. It's not how microphones work. Just because you put your hand over. Are you at location? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, is there a ba- Is there a basement? You could possibly be in the basement. Yeah, let me go check. I'm, like, running out of places to look. Yeah, because, um, like, there, yeah, there's a shelf here. Like, do you have a room with shelves? Because I'm, like, pushing on uh, the <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're all good. Yeah, I checked the room with shelves. Let me go check downstairs real quick, see mm-hmm. if you're in the parking garage. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll be right back. Oh, there's little glass things here. I'm... What? What's happening? I hung up on them. I actually waited on hold for about 20 minutes and they never came back. I think they forgot about me. Or maybe they got lost in the basement. I'm not sure. Thanks, Con Twenty Four Hour Fitness. How can I help you? Hi, I'm a uh, I'm I'm a member. Um, I'm I'm in your gym right now, but I'm blind, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure which okay. ro- room I'm in. Okay. I was trying to find the hmm, restroom. Are you downstairs I, at least? Um. Well, it's hard to say. Uh, Okay. So I use the elevator. What do you look like? Oh, you use the elevator? Uh, I'm wearing glasses. Okay. Like I, I, I was trying to find the restroom. I think this is a storeroom. Okay. Like I'm, I'm, feeling Let around, me... I'm feeling around a little bit. and I, oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. I just knocked some things oh. over. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I d- you might be upstairs. It's okay. Let me come up there and look for you. One do, sec. Do you know if... Uh, oh, oh, no. Whatever. He hung up. Let's forget 24-hour fitness. I don't know where else to call, really. I think it might be time to just move on, but maybe in the comments of the show, you could suggest some things. Tell me what type of places to call. Thank you for calling Fred Meyer. This is Kim. How can I help you? Hey, Kim. Uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your store right now. Okay. And, and I'm blind. So I'm not sure what part of the store I'm in right now. I don't know which department. Okay. Do you have a system for figuring that out? Um, are you calling from one of our phones or from... I'm, from, I'm on my cell phone. I'm feeling around. I don't feel any Braille, um, like on the shelf here. I'm trying to... Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. I just knocked some things over. Were, were you able okay, to... Okay, give me just... Were you able to hear? Were you able to hear that from where you are? Like, yes. Okay. Do you know what direction yeah. well, it came I, from? I don't. Give me just. Uh, give me just one okay. second. And we'll help you out. Okay. Okay. Oh, she put me on hold. I like the first call where I could hear her radio into people on the walkie-talkies about the blind guy. This is Brian. Oh, hey, Brian. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, this is Brad. Hey, I think I might be in the stock room. Did she tell you what's going on? Yeah, but you don't know where you're at. No, no, because I'm blind. I'm, I'm. Actually, okay. So, but like, I'm. I think this is the stock room because I'm feeling on the shelves, and the the merchandise. Is, oh, I don't. Oh, I just not. I am in the stock room and I don't see you. Okay, I must not be there. I I must be wrong. Um, could it be automotive? Because it. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, if there's something on the, we're doing a remodel, so it should be over that way. Oh yeah, is is this scaffolding I'm I'm holding right now? Here, let me shake it. Oh, what was that? Uh, I think I knocked something over. It might have been a ladder. I can't tell. Let me, let me, let me, let me try and feel over here. Oh, I oh, hear. Uh, okay, it's right there. I'm coming over that way. Okay, I'm gonna. I've, I've, I found some glass things. I can't tell what they are. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing them on the floor. Could, could this be sporting goods, maybe? Well, I'm not sure exactly where you're at. Oh, well, I'm, I'm trying to... Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a mess. I'm just kicking stuff on the floor now. Okay, well... Like, there's just, stuff just all, stop. all over the floor. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, stop so I can get up there and figure out where you're at. Okay. 
okay, I'm I'm trying. It's just I'm shuffle I'm shuffling around on the floor and there's just stuff all over the floor at this point. Oh Jesus. Fucking Christ. This is nuts. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Um Here, let me let me try and see what's on this shelf here. Oh, that was more glass. I think I might be in housewares. Oh no, that's not housewares. Sir, I don't see you. I'm in the store looking. Can, can you just go toward the sound of Andy? the noises? What's that? Can you go toward the sound of the noises? Here, let me knock some more stuff over. Just go toward that sound that I'm making. Yeah, I'm looking, but I don't... Okay. I Pre still don't... Pretend you're a blind person. Listen with your ears. Do you hear where that's coming from? I don't. This could be like the gardening section. I feel like I'm outside. Okay. Let me, let me just keep knocking stuff around so you can find me. Can you find me yet? Hello? Hello? What? What was that? I do not... I do not see you. Do you hear me, though? Like, can you hear me? I'm throwing shit around. I can around. hear the, the noise, but I can't hear it outside of the phone. Huh, yeah. Yeah, this happens every time I go to Walmart. Oh. No, that's not good. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the Walmart's only so big, you can't find me? Oh, this is Fred Meyer. I'm sorry, what's that? This is Fred Meyer. Oh, this is Fred Meyer? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm at the Walmart. Oops. All right. I, I guess I should call them. Do you know their number? I don't right off the top Shoot. of my head. I can try to look it up for you. Nah, it's okay. I'll just ask Siri. I'm surprised nobody's right. come around, though. Like, I've been really making a mess over here. All right, good luck, sir. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for looking for me. All right, bye. Bye. At least he got some exercise. Let's see what's happening on the prank line. Looks like a guy has been calling in a bunch today. Yeah, hi. My name is Bob. I was curious if you still had your trailer for sale. Two questions. Um, from outside fender to outside fender, how wide is it? And number two is, where are you located? If you can call me back, that'd be great. All right. And, oh, it's a boat trailer, it says on this next voicemail from us. Hi, Roy. My name is Bob. I was curious if we still had your boat trailer for sale. Uh, and then there's another one. He thinks I called him back or something. I don't know. Hi, Roy. This is Bob again. Uh, <laughs> my stupid volume was down on my phone when you called, evidently. I didn't call uh, you. If you could call me back, I would appreciate Yeah, I never called him. But he left that message uh, less than an hour ago, so let's see if I can get him to pick up. Hello? Hello, Bob? Yeah? It's Roy. Uh, you called me about the trailer? Yeah, how about that? You still have it? Yeah, yeah, I still got it. Uh, where are you located? Um, I'm just uh, here, you know, right here. I'm, I'm in here in the, in the area, you know, just right around the corner. I'm in New Bedford. Yeah, all the way in New Bedford. I've lived here Where for... Where are you located? Oh, I'm in New Bedford. I oh, used... you're in New Bedford, too. Yeah, yeah. I used to live in Marblehead. Now I live in New Bedford. That's why my phone number is different. Uh-huh. So where's the trailer? Uh, it's in my garage. You want me to go measure those wheels? Um, yes. Just the span between the two fenders. Okay, yeah, I'm going in the garage now. It's buried under a big... Oh, shoot. 
Okay, it's going to be hard to get to it now. I just dropped a, a big pile of stuff just fell on it. Let, let me get my measuring tape off the shelf here. Oh, fuck. oh no. Okay, so um, I knocked over a support beam in the garage and the whole roof caved in. And it bent the oh my. it bent the trailer in half. No. Yeah, it's all bent. Oh my god. Oh shoot. I guess that takes care of that. Yeah, I don't think I can sell it. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to pay for this because I was coming out here to measure it for you. This is kind of your fault. Kind of my fault. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay for this. Well, I'm I'm hoping uh I'm hoping you're okay. Oh no, I'm I'm fine. I, I got a little scraped up when the roof caved in. Uh I'm just I'm I'm walking over here trying to get out of out of the mess. Oh. Oh, Ow. Holy but, mackerel. Yeah, it's a mess in here, but um yep, I'm gonna need you to pay for this trailer and possibly the roof. Do you have a lawyer? I don't think so. Oh, I think so. This is your fault. You so. you sent me into the garage, knowing that I could get hurt. Well, <clears throat> it's too bad. At least you didn't get at least you didn't get hurt. And it didn't fall on top of you, anyways. Well, no, it did fall on top of me. I think I'm okay, but for all I know, I could have a concussion. I, I might need to go well, to the hospital, not. and you're, you're going to have to pay the medical bills. I don't think so. And, and then you sent me back into the mess, and it fell again. Well, I think so, you best stay out of there. Okay. Well, I will. Thanks for telling me now, but it's too yeah. it's too late. You've already damaged. Could have been worse. Could have been a little. You, you've already could've damaged. Could have been a little kid in there, you know? Oh, hey, don't remind me of that, okay? That, that was over 10 years ago. Yeah. All right. Not, not cool. Take care. Oh well, I no. Hey, hey, we. I need to get your contact information. I need money. You just you ruined my trailer. You ruined my roof. I don't think so. My head's bleeding. <laughs> Talk to you later. This is bullshit. Right. This is bullshit. All right, not gonna sell that trailer. Hi, this is Sonia. I show poultry with 4-H, and I was wondering if you had any of your I am Samani hens left that I could come get this week. Um. Just call me back at Hello. Hello, Sonia. Yeah. Hey there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm calling you back. Uh, you wanted some hens for 4-H. I mean hens. Oh. Yeah. 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 The um, the I am Samanis. Yeah, well, they're genetically modified, so they're like I am Samanis, but they're kind of like a GMO. I am Samani. Mm. We've been uh, we've been working on uh, just modifying them genetically. Ah. So they're they're technically that. Okay. Okay. Um. Are you okay? Yeah. What you doing? Oh, well, I'm just sitting around reading right now. Oh, okay. You're just really quiet and not responding. Did you still want those? I'm not sure. Because they've been genetically modified so that the uh, the meat in them tastes like complete shit and the eggs are basically rotten as soon as they come out. Ah, uh, well, uh, not really then. But I mean, they're 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 still they're healthy. They look really mm -hmm. bad. Like they look, they're like really ugly hens, and they taste like shit. But they're healthy. Well, they're more for like 4-H showing. Oh, for showing. Mm-hmm. Well, they're you, nobody's ever gonna have seen a chicken like this. That's guaranteed. 
I think I'll pass on this. They have kind of a red but blue thanks for calling tint back. to them. Huh? They're they're like a weird hue. Like like they've got a it's the really weird color. Um you'd have to see them. I could send you pictures on my cell phone. Basically they look like they're they're like nightmare fuel. They're they're like really really just they look like demons or something. Um I'll pass on these. What? I'll pass on these. Okay, I'm are sorry. You, you're just like bad at conversation or something. You're just trailing off. I think it's our phone. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, so you're not interested? No, I'm sorry. Okay, well hang up then. Hang up the fucking phone, lady. Well, that's all the calls I can get to pick up from the prank line for now. I'll have to try some more of these later. There's more calls and texts about the trailer. And there's another one about the American Girl dolls on Craigslist. I think I might be done with the show for the day. I don't know what else to do. I did have this idea that somebody suggested on Twitter because of the video I posted on Twitter yesterday. I posted this video of me down the block from a bookstore that's on fire yelling about how I burned the bookstore down, which all had to do with the Dick Show and Maddox and all that stuff. And somebody in the comments named Eurist McBrap said you should call bookstores and tell them that a group of protesters are heading over to do some book burnings. Which sounds like a lot of fun. I'm trying to find a list of banned books, because I don't know what books have been banned. Like, here's a list, but it's a bunch of books I've never heard of. So that doesn't count. It's got to be a list that everybody's heard of. Like, everyone knows that that one Mark Twain book was banned, right? And, oh wow, look at this. Captain Underpants was banned for encouraging disruptive behavior. And also because it included a same-sex couple. We can't have that. I totally agree with that one. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. That's a good one. A lot of people know about that one. To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984. Okay, let's just call some bookstores. I was thinking instead, though, maybe asking them if they'll donate some books for our book burning at the church. And I think the real challenge is going to be finding bookstores that still exist. Independent bookstores. I don't want to call Barnes & Noble or anything. I want to call, like, little ones. Want some books? This is Jane. Hi, Jane. Uh, this is Pastor Roy from the Church of God here in town. Hi. How can I help you, Pastor um, Well, we're on our way over, me and my church group. We're going to have a book burning um, in front of your store. And oh. it's just to prote protest uh, banned books. Do you have any banned books you'd be willing to donate? Banned books? You know, just uh, like To Kill a Mockingbird or Harry Potter. Or, you know, the or Henry Miller. <laughs> yeah. He was banned for many years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you have uh, any of that, we could burn that in our burn pile. We're bringing a burn pit over. We're going to put it on the sidewalk in front of your store. In front of our store? Yep. Oh. Do the owners know about that? Uh, no. We, we find it best just to kind of show up and, uh, you know, march around with our signs and burn some books and chant and. Uh, then just be on our way. We won't cause any problems. We we're just hoping you might have some stuff to donate, like Catcher in the Rye or Animal Farm. Oh. Like, do you have any books that you'd be willing to give to the cause? Possibly. We're do just... they have to be banned books? Because we do have some books that could. Or are you just trying to get rid of your trash? Because that's not what we're doing. That's not what you're doing. No. Mm -hmm. No, we, we need like uh, so, like Anne Frank's book. Anne Frank's? Yeah. Yeah, that one's... Uh, Diary of Anne Frank? Pretty Sinful. The Giver. Uh, how about... Um, hold on. Just a moment. Okay. Um... Are you trying to figure out speakerphone? Ma'am, are you still there? What happened? I don't hear you. Well, I I can't donate to that cause. I Oh. 
I'm sorry. Uh, we can donate to your church, but... Okay, well, we're probably going to um, say mean things about you and our megaphone during the burning. Well, but, then we definitely don't want you burning books in front of our bookstore. But it, it's for a good cause. It's for Jesus. Well, I believe in Jesus wholeheartedly. I truly do. But I also believe in in books. And, you know, that that has a connotation. Burning books has a connotation of, like, the Nazis and whatnot. It, yeah. That's rather what, frightening. That's what I tried to and, tell Dick Masterson from The Dick Show. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, it'll be funny. No, it's, it's not. Maddox. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be there pretty soon. We're going to burn some books and march around in front of your store and yell at customers and say terrible things. I hope so, not. Oh, it'll just be for a few minutes. Don't worry. It's fine. Just 15 minutes tops. Because, because you know what? That's not Jesus' way. Oh, no. But like <laughs> Jesus, well, Jesus wouldn't want people writing books like Catcher in the Rye. Uh, yeah, but just because of that doesn't doesn't mean that negative behavior is a positive thing. Mm. Hey, do you have, like, business cards of your store? We have bookmarks. Okay, can we can we throw those in the book burning pile? <sighs> Since you won't get uh, his books. I don't want our store to burn. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I, I'm not suggesting anything like that. It's just, you know, you won't give us books, so I thought it would just be symbolic. Because I can just yell through the megaphone, you know what? This store won't give us any banned books. They just sell them. They're, okay. They're, they're basically working for Satan. That's what I'm going to say. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay, well, you know what? We're almost there um, in, in the van with all, all right. our books and our fire pit. All right. We'll, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay. All right, bye, honey. It's nothing personal. Yeah, I guess that's about how I would expect that to go. I'm going to try just saying we're doing it at our own church. Because I don't want them to think we're coming out to... Oh, hi. Uh, this is Pastor Roy from the Church of God. Hi, what can I do for you? Um, well, we're having a book burning uh, at our church tonight in the parking lot. I was wondering if you might have any uh, banned books that you'd like to donate. I can't tell if this is like an ironic thing. Ironic? What would be ironic about it? Like you, you, you're seriously burning books? Yeah, well, just banned books, like um, you know, just evil, like like Harry Potter and uh, 1984 and Animal Farm stuff like that. Alrighty then. I just didn't know if you'd want to. <laughs> okay, he's gone. Well, Miss, this is Anna Rose speaking. How can I help you today? Hey there, uh, this is Pastor Roy from the church, from the Church Hello. of God. Hi. How can I help? Uh, well, I was wondering, um, we're having a book burning tonight in the parking lot, our youth group. We're having a book burning. And I was wondering if you had any books you'd like to donate to that? Um, we have a donation request on our website, but our owner who deals with that is not going to be in today, so I doubt that we'll be able to donate anything for tonight. Well, could we just come in and you could just give us some random Harry Potter books? Uh, no, you would have to buy them. Or Lord of the Flies, maybe? No, you have to buy any of the books in our store. Do we get like a discount, maybe? No, you have to buy them at full price. Okay. In our store. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I, like, you know, these are like evil books. Or you shouldn't even be selling them. Well, that is your opinion, and I hope you have fun with your book burning tonight. But I cannot donate books with you without the owner's permission, and she's not here today. Well, what about um, God's permission? God's higher up than your owner. Well, God doesn't give us money, so. Hey, let me. Let me. I can put him on the phone. You have a good day, sir. You have a good day. Bye. Bye. I don't know about this one, Mr. McBrap. Nobody seems to agree that this is a good idea. You know, years ago when I lived in Illinois, I used to drive by this church on a main road a lot, and on certain nights of the week it'd be dark out, and I'd see this little bonfire in the parking lot with all these 
teenage kids standing around it and they all had things in their hands. I'm pretty sure they were burning books or maybe they're just burning CDs. I've heard about churches having CD burning parties, you know, to burn that satanic music that kids are listening to these days. This was back in the early 2000s. I don't know if they're still doing it today. Let's try just one more. Books, how can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is Pastor Roy from the Church of God. Okay. And um, we're going to be coming over there in a little bit with a fire pit. We're going to hold a book burning on the sidewalk right in front of your door. Okay. And I was wondering if you had any books you'd like to donate. Any banned the book? book burning. Yeah, like Harry Potter maybe. Definitely or just, not. Or just anything in the occult section maybe. No, I don't think so. Is this a prank? No, why would I prank call you? Sounds like a prank. Wish you the best of luck. All Have right. a good day. Thanks, you too. Books and Paper Dreams, Linda, and this is Anne. May I help you? Hi, Anne. This is Roy from the Church of God. And, um, How can I help you? Well, I was calling um, to let you know we're on our way over right now. We're going to be holding a book burning in front of your store, like on the sidewalk. And I wanted to know if you might have any books you'd like to donate to our book burning, like any, like occult, occult no, type books. No, I, I like, don't have any books that we would burn. No. Well, what about Harry Potter? Not at all. I know you saw Harry Potter. I've been in there. <laughs> she sounded somewhat offended. All right, this next one, the last one for real. I think these are all just going to be the same. It's going to be just like the knocking shit over pranks. Village Books and Paper Dreams, and this is Cherie. Hey, uh, this is Pastor Roy from the Church of God. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to have a book burning in front of your store in about 30 minutes. And as A book? A book burning. Okay. You know, just banned books, like evil books, like Harry Potter and stuff. Um, okay. Do you have any you'd like to donate? No. Like no no books like like you know Harry Potter or Judy Bloom or something? No. George Orwell? Cuz I know you sell this stuff. Yes, we do. So you don't you you can't donate some for for religious purposes? No, we we try to stay secular, sir. Sorry. Well, that that's that's how Nazism happens when you try to stay secular. Are you trying to play a prank on us? Is this what, the, what this is? Of course not. No, I'm a pa I'm way too old for prank calls. I'm a pastor of a church. We're just doing a book burning. That's all. Okay, I would like you to speak to our owner. Then, do you want to stay on the phone? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Hello, this is Paul. Oh, hey, Paul. It's Pastor Roy from the Church of God. I was just letting that employee know that we're doing a book burning in front of your store in about 30 minutes. Really? And um, I, I was just hoping you might have some books you'd like to donate for the book burning. Uh, what an interesting question. No, we have no books that we'd want to donate for book burning. Well, I mean, you don't have any filthy books? Like, I, I know you saw Harry Potter. I've been in there before. I, I'm sorry, we don't have any what books? I, any filthy books. Filthy books? Like no, we don't have filthy books here. Ungodly books. No, you have Harry Potter. I've seen, I've seen Harry Potter there. I've well, seen George Orwell. Okay. You can't tell me you don't have those type of books. Like you don't have to lie. I'm a pastor. Shouldn't lie. Uh, you can call yourself whatever you like, but if uh, you're burning books, that's uh, that's censorship, and that reminds me of Nazi Germany. Oh no, it's not censorship. People can still buy the books. It's just uh, symbolic. Oh, excellent. You're you're oh, the one being oh. you're the one being Nazis if you're selling those type of books to the public. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Well, we're going to be there in I, about I, thirty minutes. We're just we're just going to give a public demonstration on the sidewalk. Excellent. Yell, yell through our megaphone. Probably bad things about you because you're not donating books. <laughs> we're not donating books for you to burn, so you're going to say bad things about us. Well, I, it's just because of the money, right? You're just like all concerned about profits. You don't care about about just no, values. No, we care about how, about uh, people being able to read what they want to read and not uh, telling people what they're supposed to read. We don't want to control people and uh, have them think a certain way. We believe in uh, people being able to think for themselves. Oh, that sounds like something Satan would say. 
Is that what you say whenever you don't agree with what somebody says? Well, no, it just it actually sounds like something Satan would say. Like, you, you just want to keep selling your filth. I didn't say that. Be, you're be, basically being just like a Nazi. You're like, oh, I, everyone says I have to let people read what they want to read. So That's I be, what I the better, Nazis said? I, I better do what they you, say. You might want to check your history. In fact, you might want to read now and then would be a good idea. Oh, I read all the time. I read from the Bible, motherfucker. Well, that, with that kind of language, it doesn't seem like you do. There's nothing in the Bible that says I can't say motherfucker. Okay. Anyway, we'll be there pretty soon with our book burning on the sidewalk. Okay. Thank, thank you for the warning. I appreciate that. Well, it's not a warning. Don't take it like that. It's, it's going to be in a controlled fire pit right next to the trash cans. Uh, okay. Well, I appreciate it. Se- no, I, settle down. I, I, meant it, I meant it sincerely. I appreciate you letting us know ahead of time. Okay. And if you change your mind and if you want to stop being a Satanist, uh, bring out some <laughs> Ray Bradbury books and Harry Potter Okay, okay, Please. thank you. All right, thank you so much. Have a nice uh-huh. day, sir. God bless. I love the idea of this, but but then I make the calls and I'm basically just arguing politics and shit. And who wants to hear that? I blame Eurist McBrap. He's the one that had this idea. Thanks a lot, Eurist McBrap. It was fun to try, at least. And coming in from east of the Rockies, it's Micro Corgi! Hey, Micro Corgi. Hey, Brad. I guess I'm kind of becoming your source of useless information. Yay. Fun fact about counterfeit bills, the police really, they don't care. It's the Secret Service that deals with those. So if you take them into yeah, a bank or something and just say, hey, these were given to me, they'll have the Secret Service come out and then they'll just, like, deal with the bills. I don't actually know what they do after that. But I just think it'd be cool for red and black suits to just, like, show up and freak out over some crappy little paper bills. So, yeah, that'd yeah, be there's great. that. Have a good one, Brad. Uh, Bye, Micro Corgi. And I don't know, like, I read the local police logs all the time, and they post pictures of people who pass counterfeit bills, and sometimes those people get identified and arrested for it. Seems like the cops would take an interest. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. You researched it, not me. Hey, Brad, it's Hunter. Uh, I had an idea for a tennis from hell. You said you wanted ideas. Yeah, so you put a big I... pirate cannon in the hallway. That when someone comes knocking on the door, you can light it. Say you put a big pirate cannon in the oh. hallway. So that when someone comes knocking on the door, you're just gonna light it and just shoot a cannon all through. All right, see ya. A pirate cannon. Okay, that'll be my new home security technique. You know, I think I clearly said to leave your ideas in the comments, not to complain or anything. I'm just, just. Hey, saying. Brad. Uh, this is Sean. Uh, I'm a sound guy, and I was just listening. Or hey, Sean. That you just released with your new mixer. You're having trouble there. It sounds like you have pre fader listen on on your sends. So turn that off. If there's ah, a button fuck. that says PFL or if there's a button that says pre, turn it off and uh, it will follow your fader moves. So uh, if the uh, people on the other end won't hear the music when you uh, bring the faders down there. Okay. Yada, yada. Good luck, All man. Right. That may have been the problem. The PFL thing is not on right now. Maybe it was the other day when I did the live show. Or I guess it must have been for them to be able to hear it. I ended up fixing it by turning the send knobs down on the music slider. That seemed to fix it, but I didn't have to do that on my old one. So yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I had that push the other day. I'm still learning on this thing. I was just getting used to that old mixer, and here I go and get another one. Good morning, Roy. How are you? Hello. I Good morning. How are you doing today? considered Sal and Richard from the Howard Stern Show to be influences of yours because they were prank calling swap shop and tradio shows on fm airwaves it's true back in the late 2000s they i don't were. know if you got that idea from them or if they got the idea from you bye bye friend i don't think it was either i think it's just kind of an obvious idea to do the jerky boys were doing that oh wait no they were placing ads for people to call them but i don't know what sal and what's his face do with the tradio I don't really listen to Stern anymore, and I never heard them on when I did listen to Stern. Do they call in and screw with the show live on the air, or do they just call back the people who've tried to sell things? I was phone mobbing radio stations in the 80s. I have proof of this on my other podcast, Brad's Cactus Shack, over at notla.com. I played a bunch of really unfunny prank calls of mine from the 1980s, where I just called into a radio station and said stupid things constantly, over and over. There was no caller ID back then. It was awesome. So I think that means Sal stole it from me. 
Or maybe it's just an obvious thing to do. I think it's probably... Hey, Brad, bad. it's Carlito. Oh, just kidding. It's Red Eagle Cobra. Oh, okay. uh, I was... That was a good one. You had me going there for a second. Thinking about your last show you did, and the woman who apparently knew the show, and you were paranoid a little bit about it, thinking that she put an ad out or whatever. Yeah. I'm just calling to say I don't think that's the case, because it, do the math, you probably called like 10,000 people it's over true. the course of the Snowplow Show's existence. Over on another prank call show, they were doing prank calls to tenants, I mean to landlords, apartment buildings, and the apartment building guy they called knew all about phone losers and mentioned the name Roy and he knew everything about it it was crazy so i think you're right i think i just happened to call someone that had heard of the calls before you'd think she would have emailed me by now just to set my mind at ease thanks a lot person for not emailing me the odds that you would not run into someone who would already know about it is probably very low given the fact there's ten thousand fans of the show yeah. um so i i mean it's just possible just because you call so many people she probably was a legitimate fan that you, you ended up calling you just it's if you do the weird. math, it seems right. Uh, I was just thrown off by it. It doesn't happen often or, I guess, ever. Because really. all the fans are, are pretty much diehard, so they all would have instantly know it's you. But that's, that's just my take on it. I, I really do think that there are people out there that would just be able to recognize you. I mean, I've never met a PLA fan in real life. wonder if anyone else has me uh, by coincidence. So, there you go. Hi, Brad. Um, it's me. Don't you know? It's me. I, I just wanted to say that. What, what's your name? I'm a really big fan. What's your and name? I think you're so hot, and I wish I was there. I wonder I mean, what your name is. Don't you wish I was? you were right here, too? Yeah, that'd be great. Me? That'd be great. Don't you want to do stuff to me? Like, I, oh my dirty God. things? I'm, uh, getting, I'm getting so flustered. Crimson was right. I just don't know what to do right uh, now. Don't you want to know my name? Yeah, what, what's you your know? name? My what, name? What is it? What's, what is it? What's your name? Uh, I can tell you. Um, my name Please. is Guillermo. Ah, <laughs> fuck. God damn it. <laughs> you thought I was a girl, fool? <laughs> You're gay, fool. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you got me. <laughs> damn. Fuck. You thought I was a girl, fool. You're gay now. You got to take me to breakfast. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, fool. <laughs> Good one. Later, fool. <laughs> right, bye. Who thought I was a girl, fool? <laughs> I feel so stupid now. I did not see that one coming at all. Hey, Brad. This is Tasha from Parts Unknown. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to fall for that one. Hello, sir. Please, please do another show on Tennis from Hell because those shows are so fucking funny. Not so much digging tunnels. <laughs> And shit, oh, but on. more of uh, dumping shit down your toilet. That is funny. So, anyway, okay. cactus, cactus, motherfucker. Thanks, Tasha. You know, other people hate the flushing things down the toilet. Some of them, anyway. I agree, though. I need to do some more tenants from hell calls. I have this big old list in my notebook still of ideas that I haven't done. I'll do some more soon. That's actually all the voicemails. What an incredibly short voicemail segment. So that's the end of the show. Thank you to the sponsors. Fun Society Arcade, Synthed, Gobi, Edward G., and high school graduate. Please support the show if you're able to by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Just $5 a month gets you an extra show every week because two free shows a week, that's not enough. You need more than that. You gotta have that hobo sewed. So please support the show. Thank you everybody for listening. Follow the phone losers on all the things twitter.com slash phone losers, facebook.com slash phone losers youtube.com slash phone losers of america there's a reddit there's a facebook group go to snowplowshow.com and look in the show notes you will find links to everything bye everybody I broke free.